Welcome back everybody and now it's time for the WWE Championship match. And here comes the challenger who seems to have ditched Elana in the favor of a brand new manager in MVP. There he is, MVP and Bobby Lashley. Lashley didn't have much success in the world title picture so far since his return here to the WWE. But now with MVP on his side, could this change? MVP held the United States Championship, Tag Team Championship before and now he wants to lead Bobby Lashley to a world title. Uh, Lashley's last title run was with the Intercontinental Championship that he uh, ended up losing and now Lashley wants to add a world title to his resume. And here comes the WWE Champion defeating Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania to become WWE Champion for the first time after winning the Royal Rumble. This is Drew McIntyre's year. Drew McIntyre has defended his championship successfully twice so far. Once against The Big Show and the other time at Money in the Bank against Seth Rollins. And now he has a very different opponent in Bobby Lashley, who is a uh, powerhouse, but in a way also very agile. So we have to see how the Scottish psychopath fares against Lashley here tonight. The referee is holding up what it is all about tonight. The WWE Championship as MVP gives some last minute instructions to Lashley. Bell rings and oh my god! Lashley right out, out of the gate with a spear. And I think this is exactly what MVP told him. Oh no, McIntyre kicked out at two. And MVP thought that that would bring Lashley the championship, but McIntyre able to kick out at two. And now Lashley wants to follow it up with a Dominator, but McIntyre gets out of it and oh, throws Lashley to the outside. Now uh, McIntyre buying himself some time after that spear, and now he's looking at Lashley. And what is he going for? Huge dive to the outside. High flying is the least you would expect in a match between two huge guys like McIntyre and Lashley. But McIntyre jumped over the top rope and now MVP here trying to distract the WWE Champion. And oh, Lashley from behind sending McIntyre into the steel steps. And MVP being a huge asset here already to Lashley. Maybe he will lead him to the WWE Championship as Lashley's on the top rope and goes for a double X handle and it connects perfectly onto the head of Drew McIntyre. Now Lashley thinking why not go for another one? This time on the other side of the ring but McIntyre catches him. Oh my god. Belly to belly over at throw by McIntyre. Now a right hand. Oh my god that uh, rocked Lashley there. What a punch by McIntyre now setting him up here on the top rope going for a superplex perhaps but oh Lashley Lashley cut off McIntyre there and McIntyre landed awkwardly and now what does Lashley have in mind but there oh the strength of Drew McIntyre drops Lashley on his neck and now McIntyre wants to follow it up with a powerbomb and it connects perfectly this might be it but oh no Lashley able to kick out at two and I think McIntyre wants to take Lashley to Claymore County now as he's getting ready Lashley getting back up and oh there's MVP holding the leg 
of McIntyre in the corner lariat by Lashley. You might not like it, but MVP is, is a great help to Lashley here as Lashley is taking up Drew McIntyre for that huge suplex and holding him there. Just look at the strength of Lashley and oh, suplex by Lashley now. He's celebrating himself here in the ring, but the crowd is not happy now. Going in the ropes, but oh, Glasgow kiss. Rocks Lashley now, McIntyre into the ropes, but oh, Lashley counters with a huge spine buster. McIntyre almost got uh, back the control of the matchup there, but Lashley hit him with a huge spine buster. Now, Lashley wants to go for another spear, I think, here. Lashley is waiting for McIntyre to slowly get up here. And there comes Lashley, but oh no! McIntyre caught him! Oh, future shock! Dropped Lashley on his head. But Lashley able to roll out the ring to avoid disaster here in this WWE Championship match. And now McIntyre coming to the outside, but MVP in his way again. And, and, and McIntyre... Seems to be bag bagging off from MVP, but oh no! Claymore kick to MVP, taking him down. But there, Lashley, oh my god! What a rolling spear on the floor, now sending McIntyre back into the ring. This could be a WWE Championship win for Lashley, going for the Dominator. And he did it! He did it, cover! No, McIntyre able to kick out at two. Lashley threw everything in his arsenal against Drew McIntyre, but he was still able to kick out at two. Now, Lashley thinking, I'll go for another Dominator here. Going for it again, oh, but McIntyre out. And another huge Glasgow kick. This time taking Lashley down to the mat. And now McIntyre. Wants to go for that reversed Alabama slam, but oh, look who's back up. MVP holding the feet of Lashley. But the referee is getting in there now. But oh, McIntyre distracted Lashley for the spear. Oh no, he speared MVP off the apron to the floor. And McIntyre going into the ropes and oh, huge Claymore kick. McIntyre going into the cover and McIntyre retains the WWE Championship. MVP did everything to try to help Lashley win the WWE Championship. But in the end, Drew McIntyre was the superior man in this match. Kicking out out of all of Lashley's signature moves and hitting him with a Claymore kick. And that sealed the end for Lashley as Drew McIntyre is celebrating his victory. You gotta wonder who is next in line for Drew McIntyre's WWE Championship. Is there anybody at the moment that could step up to Drew McIntyre and take that WWE Championship away from him? I'm not sure, he seems unstoppable. Thank you guys for watching this action figure matchup we had here today. And before we go off the air here today, I want to uh, let you know I did a video on these the other day. The New Japan Pro Wrestling Series 2 figures are available for pre-order at Ringside Collectibles. Now, the thing is they won't be out till April 2021. So this is almost a year to go, which really really surprised me that it would take that long to get these but there are also some new images of the figures they are absolutely awesome man uh, april 2021 will still be must haves then and they also have the memorial day sale up right here as you guys can see so if you want to take advantage of that you can uh, use my code at checkout to save a 10 percent off uh, like i said i hope you all did enjoy this action figure matchup we had here today. Uh, more content coming uh, uh, tomorrow. I'm still working on, on the GCW show that should be out pretty soon. So you can uh, stay tuned for that. And yeah, that wraps it up for today. And I catch you all tomorrow.